It's a really crowded marketplace, and soon, with SBS launching its third channel at the end of this year, we're going to be launching a new free-to-air channel at the end of the year that will be a wholly Indigenous channel focused on Indigenous culture and sharing that with all of Australia, and we really look forward to launching that as a free-to-air channel at the end of the year. Um, but with all this, how do we really cut through now into the future? And that's the key question for us, and how do we stand out from the crowd? The way we're doing it is really focusing on what we're really good at, giving our audiences more of what they come to expect from us and what they like from us. Our strategy is simply focusing around five key verticals that we know that we're good at, around news and current affairs. Food is a very big genre for us now on Thursday nights and online, of course. Sports, and in sports we're focusing on just two sports, the world game and cycling. Of course, we, we cover all our other sports in, in our news segments, but they're the two that we're really good at and we want to own. Documentaries is obviously another big one, both local produced documentaries and international, and film, particularly foreign film and in-language film. They're our key five verticals. In many ways, um, you know, that's what our audiences like from us, and so we're not trying to be all things to all people, but we really want to focus on what we are good at. Um, one of the other things with our audiences is that they're very passionate, engaged, and what we have built uh, recently is an audience exchange, an online uh, research tool that we use, where we've got about 5,000 of our audiences that we can tap into and get instant results and survey them about all sorts of things, even overnight results. When we put things on TV, we can actually say, how did you enjoy that, what was good, what was bad, and we really learn from that enormously. So one of the things that we're doing a lot in marketing at SBS is constantly talking to our audiences so that we can evolve our services. I mentioned earlier the sports, um, you know, focusing on what we're famous for, uh, whether it be news, current affairs, food, etc. And uh, you know, the world game is one of our key sports, soccer in Australia. One of the first things I did as managing director is ensure that we secured the rights for the World Game um, till 2022. So that ensures that we're going to really own that property uh, for the next decade or so. And same with cycling. We've got the rights now for the cycling for the Tour de France to 2018. It's going to be a core anchor in our offering in, in, in this world of niches. Some of our documentaries, we're really focused on ensuring that our documentaries tell good Australian stories. And one that we did very recently was go back, sorry, uh, Once Upon a Time in Cabramatta. Some of you hopefully would have seen that, where we, we really delved into a Sydney suburb, a western suburb in Sydney that was really plagued with drugs, murders. Um, it was a horrible place for many, many years. It had Australia's first and only political assassination. And over the last 10 years, they've really evolved the suburb. 